Good morning. We're here to talk to you today about an amazing project that our firms are working on on Roosevelt Island for the Cornell Tech campus. A little bit about our partnerships. So Hudson and Related have been working on Roosevelt Island for almost two decades now. We won an RFP in the 90s to develop what is known as Riverwalk. We've currently developed seven of the nine buildings planned on Roosevelt Island. Building seven was completed this summer, actually designed by Handel Architects as well. This building was certified as Lead Silver. A little bit about the Hudson companies. Um, we're one of the greenest developers um, in town. We um, built a third and bond lead for homes platinum. It was one of the first multifamily lead for homes multifamily buildings. We also have the largest PV array in New York State on our affordable housing project in East New York. Um, we actually developed this building after another building which had a a uh, photo, a very large photo um, voltaic array there. Related is one of the largest privately held development firms in the world. Related is committed to building green exclusively since 2008, and that means building to at least lead silver. Um, since that time, they've developed 14 projects, uh, 6.4 million square feet, and $3.7 billion worth. And underway in the pipeline, they have another 14.5 million square feet worth about $10 billion. Handel Architects is a New York City-based firm um, with offices around the globe. Handel specializes in high-rise housing, and they are experts in the field and have a great depth, depth of exposure in high-rise residential. So a little bit of background about our project. So in December 2010, the city launched an RFP through the New York City Economic Development Corporation for an applied sciences campus. Um, the city kind of realized that um, after the financial crisis, we needed to have tech, we needed to support tech, we needed to support innovation, and that economy that started growing in, in New York City. And so they released an RFP, and many, many universities applied. There were a couple of sites that were available in the RFP. The favorite of all of the respondents was the Roosevelt Island site. One of the reasons Roosevelt Island is such a wonderful site is because it has great public transit access. It's easily accessible by the F train and um, also by the tram which goes directly from the east side of Manhattan. In 2011, Cornell with Technion Israel won the RFP. There are the presidents of the university and Bloomberg signing um, the papers. And um, Cornell was kind of off to the races. They beat out competitors like Stanford and other major in institutions. So in 2012, Cornell released an RFP for the residential building, which is our site. The, the campus is actually um, planned in different phases. This is the first phase, which is currently under construction right now. Um, we've actually built up to floor two. Um, and there are four other buildings being developed at the same time with us. The first academic building, or the Bloomberg Center, will house the academic campus. The corporate co-location building, or the bridge, will house the um, will house um, basically um, tech and uh, academic space at the same time. So it's this idea of um, co-locating people and having cross-pollination. And then our building, which will house students and faculty. As you can see from this slide, our project goals are deeply integrated with sustainability and we're really pushing the envelope here. Our goals are to build a state-of-the-art building that will change the way that we build high-rise. We believe that this building may be able to change the way we build high-rises in New York City, potentially even the world. Um, we believe that this, is, this will produce a better quality of living for the inhabitants, that the building will um, force a shift in, in building technology and in promoting sustainability. We also, you know, with our partners, Cornell University, will um, elevate the position of the university. Um, it's very important to the university and to the campus to be on the forefront of sustainability and technology. And most, of, most importantly, I think, um, is this idea that we'll be saving money not only for the building owner, but also for the residents who live in the building, which is really important when thinking about the student population that lives in the building who are on extremely limited budgets. Can I use this one? You can. Can I have the, can I have the clicker? You can.